Well, hello everybody. It's just about uh, 19 hours and 6 minutes into the day of Saturday, August 6th. 2016. Well, I'm off walking now. It's about, I'm doing food shopping, so this is our peripatetics. I don't think there's going to be much today in terms of the heaviness of the topic, but just uh, sort of a way to, <laughs> if you will, um, uh, a way to sort of. Uh, I just have a brief discussion because I got back just yesterday uh, from Mar the Mars Alpha Ex Expedition. I was up at the uh, village of Prophet Elias. Uh, interesting experience, uh, to say the least. Uh, the goal was uh, to do better this year than I did last year, and that's certainly the case. One of the, one of the big but stumbling blocks that uh, going off on expedition always has done is it made it difficult for me to start vlogging again start the production schedule again uh, I was tired just sort of uh, catch my breath or oh, I can't breath, but sort of verbally verbally oh, there we go I'm tired so it's not working to There's something in my shoe should resolve it. Yeah. The proverbial uh, fatigue or if you want to take some time off to catch your breath. Uh, you know you have a good vacation because even though it's a work vacation it's nonetheless a vacation. Uh, an expedition. The pace isn't the same. But when you get back because you're in a tent or you're on the rough. Uh, it does take you a couple days to get caught up. And that procrastination is in, was what ended up causing half the problem getting back to vlogging because you get behind schedule and then once you're behind schedule it's difficult to catch up again. And so you just uh, keep on with the procrastination you can sort of keep saying okay well I'll do it next time I'll do it next time I'll do it next time and the reality is uh, this is what happened last night six months went by and <laughs> I never got back to the vlogging again so and everything else once the vlogging went the entire production schedule went and <laughs> that's kind of what uh, put me in the position where, we, where I am now where a lot of the work that I had done on the channel for oh two years had disappeared uh, so it's a matter of sort of bringing it back up again uh, and continuing on yeah so Anyways, I'm going to end it here because I really don't have that much to say right now. Uh, I do have to get the essentials. So, so, you know, I was up north. I was doing the exped I was on expedition. Uh, interesting uh, life, lifestyle. Not only lifestyle, but uh, wildlife up there. Uh, I heard it. This is what happens at night. A lot of the animals work at night. Well, they're, they're nocturnal. Uh, 
and the number of wolves in the area have increased significantly. And once again, I was able to hear uh, a pack of wolves pretty close by take down a good-sized deer. So <laughs> that was sort of an, in an interesting point to the expedition. And this is the sort of thing you know, I was going to try to do some filming up there. But got the camera, got the tripods, had everything set to go. Uh, except I forgot the uh, card reader to transfer the files from the camera to the computer. So there was no way of filming because I couldn't get the clips off the camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is kind of what happens. So uh, you plan, you hope to do the best, and more often that something comes up, and you're looking for a net gain rather than a total gain. You know, a total. It's not always plus 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 plus. It's a, it's a sort of a, a sum game. It's a sum total game where you have successes and you have failures, and you hope by the end of the experience that the uh, successes outweigh the failures and losses so anyways I'll leave that here for now I will see you I'll talk to you on more on the way back and we'll see what type of uh, uh, topic we could talk about oh anyways see you then well, welcome back everyone to uh, the second segment of uh, Big Bang Thrill's BTS vlog. Uh, it is uh, 20 hours and 11 minutes into the day of Saturday, August 6, 2016. Yeah, we're supposed to be doing our peripatetics today, but uh, we're not going to do anything in depth. Uh, it's not going to not be anything too mind-blowing. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from uh, uh, my expedition, so, uh, and I'm just running some errands in order to sort of get things back in working order again. Uh, I do enjoy when I shop getting good deals. And I'm wearing my sunglasses now because I'm walking west and the sun is low on the horizon. So, uh, this is. Uh, protects my eyes from the sun so <laughs> uh, yeah I got a lot of good stuff for, for rather cheap I spent uh, maybe a total of $35 and uh, I got a good, a good week's worth of food in here plus I got some extra goodies including because I went to uh, the dollar store that's around me so, fix that tri tripod here that I'm using for a selfie. Ooh, oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Yawning as I'm walking. Yeah, I should be in bed now. I should be sleeping. But I'm not. I'm walking. Uh, <laughs> after everything I've done up north, I'm walking again. So, uh, didn't need the glasses. I didn't need my sunglasses on the way. Really coming on the way here. Um, I just needed them. I need them now because of where the sun is. So, uh, and that kind of gives my eyes a degree of protection that uh, I wouldn't ordinarily have. So, yeah, heading home now. I gotta unpack. I still gotta uh, do some fixing up uh, in a place before I get back to my normal schedule. So, that's probably gonna be Monday. By the time the regular schedule starts. But I've already started working on other projects now, so um, that's good. Usually, last year when I got back, and this is typical of the years before, it really took me a couple of months before I got back up to speed again. And I didn't want to, want, I didn't want that to happen this time. So, uh, What I've done is, this is last year, I had begun moving the office back 
into the back room, putting it on the couch. I gotta make sure that the way is clear. Okay, the way is clear, there's no cars coming. Uh, across the street. Uh, yeah, when I got back for, uh, I got back last year, I was still in the midst, I left, well I was in the midst of transferring the office from where the music studio is now, back towards, uh, uh, to, to the back room where I am now. So only part of the system had been transferred back, and it hadn't been, be full, hadn't been fully optimized. Now, that happened during the year, it took me about two months to fully optimize, so Really, if you look at it, August, September, October. So I began sort of pulling out of the upgrade, the office upgrade, which was the research desk, the research desk upgrade, uh, well into November. So that kind of uh, puts things, a damper on things, and you know, puts you behind. This year, that doesn't happen. My desk is where it needs to be, the research desk is where it needs to be, and it's efficient and functional. So, as soon as I got back, bang, I'm right on it. So, anyways, I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, I was logging outside again. Uh, I think it's about, uh, let's see here, yeah. It is 22 hours and 55 minutes into the day of uh, Sunday, uh, August uh, 7th, uh, 2016. I think I got my date right. <laughs> uh, the fatigue from being up north uh, is finally hit, also from the, uh, the, the pair of protectors just at the walk yesterday. Things have sort of settled in, and uh, uh, <laughs> the productivity that gets done today is uh, has been done today is uh, very low. Needless to say, because uh, it's been occupied by uh, sleeping, so there hasn't been much that actually been done today. I'm just trying to do sort of uh, uh, keep the vlog though going the way it's supposed to be going. You know, if you're supposed to vlog all the time. I know a lot of vloggers don't vlog when they're not in the best of shape because they don't want to sort of uh, put their. Uh, well, most of the stuff is entertainment stuff. You know, it's it's designed specifically for entertainment. They're they're there to entertain you, so they don't want to bring you down if something's not going well or so on and so forth. But uh, my case is particularly different. Is that uh, uh, it, 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 I want to show you the ups and downs of. Uh, well, both the ups and downs in uh, in the life of a scientist, and this is this is, this is uh, you know not all scientists go through this, but uh, there are some who you know this gives you an, a, a sort of an idea of what what goes on. Uh, others work in more of a standard environment, uh, you know, nine to five. Uh, they have an office, they have a home. Uh, they're now not out on uh, doing exploration all the time. Uh, I'm pretty pretty much always on uh, out doing exploration. Uh, whether that's why I'm here at my office almost 24/7, and I don't go really I don't really go back to my house, my home home. Uh, sort of, I've ended up moving into here uh, because the research is uh, just about 24/7. So there is no there is no off time. There's no downtime, and. It is the way it is. Uh, right now, I'm uh, not on on the couch, so we are. We still are on the patio. Let's look at the patio, more or less set up. It's just that uh, I've got some fixing up to do on the couch. So right now, I'm on a chair, and I've got uh, a small table beside me to the left uh, that allows me to uh, bring out things uh, if I want to have something to eat or something to drink. Uh, I can put that on the side table there and. And sort of enjoy being outside uh, rather than being uh, uh, stuck in my hot office. I, I haven't finished doing the, the repairs to the back uh, 
uh, air conditioning unit. I am, I'm going to redesign the system and put something new back in there. A new uh, system in the back. I haven't done that yet. Uh, uh, we'll see how that ends up going. Uh, other projects have kind of popped up. I'm going to be doing some more work, hopefully, over the month, next month, month or so, on Mars Alpha. I'm actually putting a might be putting a uh, full office up there. So uh, things have worked out with very well so far. So putting a full office up is going to be something uh, quite interesting. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I might leave that here for now. And uh, uh, we'll have to sort of see uh, where we end up going from here. So uh, I think I've got another uh, segment coming in. Uh, this uh, I was going to try to do a single day vlog with a pair of protectors, but there just, just simply wasn't enough uh, content to do that. So it looks like there's going to have to be more, more than one segment. So. I don't know whether that's going to be at the research desk inside or uh, out here, so I'll kind of play that by ear. Anyways, I will talk to you in about, uh, uh, let's see, a couple hours. Maybe I'll come back later on uh, after midnight and uh, uh, see how things are going, so alright, take it easy. Well, this is going to be an interesting way to film because I'm filming by monitor light. So, right, it's about 80 degrees outside. We're having a heat wave in Toronto. Uh, so, the best way to beat the heat with a crippled AC system, it's only half working, is to work without lights. And so, basically, the only lights that I have in my place are the monitor lights. So, let me give you a uh, time of date step and... Uh, We'll uh, sort of finish this off here. It's uh, 12 hours and 52 minutes into the day of Tuesday, August 9th, 2016. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, it's better in the right hand than it is in the left hand. <laughs> Just trying to see which hand was better to vlog in this hand. The right hand seems to be better. Uh, uh, I'm still kind of unpacking from the expedition. The schedule is the work schedule is uh, I say hobbling along it's not moving at full speed it's starting to roll uh, forward a bit uh, so it's kind of like a train you don't pick up speed right away you, uh, the speed gradually builds as you leave the station so we've definitely left the station using the train analogy uh, and we are starting to roll along, but uh, the speed hasn't picked up significantly yet. Uh, that's going to remain uh, uh, a goal to do. This was supposed to be a one-day vlog. I was going to do a one-day vlog for just for peripatetics, but then it ended up being uh, I also added it in the uh, uh, on the patio on the. Uh, I did some vlogging on the patio, the uh, Kauai Tea House patio. I did the uh, the vlogging there. I'll probably do end up doing more tonight because I don't think I'll be able to finish uh, what I need to get done today in terms of the time schedule. But uh, my right hand is getting tired, so <laughs> switch hands. Uh, yeah, as a, the day slowly moves along, and, and, and it's it's more or less uh, punctuated by a lot of reading. Uh, I'm reorganizing my notes again. Uh, I'm going to be adding in uh, archaeology and anthropology as a major section now to the notebooks. Uh, I've done some of the archaeological work already that i got to take notes on, uh, and I will be doing more uh, uh, in the weeks to come, so uh, that will be the new major section there. I'm also planning to do some work on the electronics bench, so I can get the uh, Tesla product that I had been planning to work on, uh, but I'm a little bit behind on that. Uh, I'll start working on the meters for uh, the electronics bench. Uh, this will be uh, used uh, to do the metering work for uh, Project Tesla. And uh, but so that schedule to begin also this time this month, uh, within the month. I also have to work on the music studio. Uh, again, not much has to be done there. It's just a little bit of a f for fixing up and then going from there. 
But what happens is, it, 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 I have to sort of work my schedule around the um, the fatigue, uh, you know, the tiredness that uh, I experience from, from profit life. So I'm still sleeping uh, a fair chunk, and then also uh, dealing with the heat. So uh, these will two be two, the two sort of main issues that uh, I'll have to work on and uh, see where we'll go from here. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to leave this short here. There's not really much to say right now. Uh, I still have to sort of get my bearings on a lot of things. Maybe maybe later on tonight uh, after I've done some sort of uh, getting my, uh, more of my bearings, get more of uh, the sort of the products on the way, and then uh, then we'll have a, uh, a, a better discussion in terms of uh, more than just simply filling in what uh, has been on the schedule or being done. Uh, in terms of part of the schedule anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for now, because I'm out of things to say, and I'll see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Well, it's uh, just about uh, 23 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Tuesday, August 9th, 2016, and we are vlogging by street light again. Oh, actually, security light. I guess we're at the back. We're on the we're on the patio. I haven't haven't uh, brought the uh, Kauai Tea House patio into full operation because I've got it uh, sort of. I put a new tarp on here. They say there's going to be a thunderstorm in the next few days, so uh, uh, there was supposed to be tonight, and they pushed it off to tomorrow night, and and we'll see what ends up happening over Thursday. But uh, I need to fix it up anyways. I need to put a new tarp on there that uh, covers things better. Uh, and find a way of getting the tarp on and off uh, easily so that uh, it, it doesn't go flying away so <laughs> uh, in case there's a windstorm or something like that. So that's what was done today. That's sort of uh, the uh, uh, the night uh, uh, work if you want to consider that. Um, said, otherwise, uh, uh, I'm waiting for the temperature to drop. Uh, it hasn't dropped too much. It, uh, well, actually, it, it dropped about 10 degrees. It was 87 degrees today, uh, Fahrenheit. And now it's dropped down to about 77. There's still a fair bit of humidity in the air, so uh, the back door isn't open yet. Uh, I thought it would have dropped, the temperature would have dropped off uh, uh, sooner this, than this, but it hasn't, so uh, I think I'm going to maybe give it another hour and then go inside because I'm actually starting to fall asleep now so <laughs> and that gives you an indication that it, uh, you know <sighs> that I'm actually kind of sleepy right now so uh, and that's why my thoughts are off I think you know when you I think when you're hot when you're when it's very hot out you your the fatigue hits harder it's harder to stay awake. This is why, in many cases, you use cold to sort of stay awake. Cold, fresh air because the heat puts you to sleep. And that's kind of the only thing I want to do right now is sleep. <laughs> but I said I want to give it another hour before the temperature drops. So that the, ho hopefully the temperature will drop by then and uh, see if I can cool the place off. Otherwise, uh, tomorrow is going to be a, uh, a little difficult to uh, work through. Uh, because of the temperature, so. But I think as if the humidity doesn't go away, that opening the door is not going to help much of anything because it's, it's all it's going to do is bring the humidity inside. So, uh, well, that's the it's kind of the way things go. Anyways, I will uh, talk to you uh, later, which will actually be the next episode because this will be the, this is the last uh, segment for this episode. So, uh, see you then. Professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics.
Democratic Earth.